Most of Earth's oxygen is created by the ocean. Like many of you before this video, I kind of just assumed most of the oxygen in the atmosphere was created by all of the plants on land. But in fact, about 50 to 80% of the oxygen is created by oceanic plankton. It makes sense when you think about it. The ocean makes up for about 71% of the Earth's surface area. With all of the life and biodiversity the ocean has to offer, it's not too out of this world to believe that the ocean is a huge factor in the creation of oxygen in our atmosphere. There's a star made out of diamond. In 2013, Dr. Jason Boyles discovered a pulsar about 870 light years from Earth. Dr. Boyles and his colleagues were able to determine that it was orbiting around an uncommonly cool white dwarf star. They believe the star is likely cool enough to allow some of the carbon to start to crystallize, similar to diamond on Earth. If you stretch all the DNA in a human out, it would go from Earth to Pluto and back 17 times. This one blows my mind. If you saw my video on the true scale of the solar system, you would understand the mind-blowing distance between the planets. DNA is only a few molecules wide, but it's all tightly curled up into our 46 chromosomes. The DNA from a single cell, all uncurled, would be about 3 meters long. Multiply that by the number of cells in the human body, approximately 10 to the 13, and you get an unimaginable distance. Bonus fact, if you were to type out the genetic sequence of all 46 chromosomes at 8 hours per day, 60 words per minute, it would take you about 50 years. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It helps so much. There are about 10 bacteria cells for every human cell on your body. Now don't go jumping in the shower or pouring hand sanitizer all over yourself just yet. The majority of the bacteria on your body is harmless, with many types of bacteria actually being beneficial to us. If you were to turn every human cell in your body invisible, you'd still be able to see a ghostly human figure made up entirely of bacteria, which begs the question, how much of you is actually you? The star Betelgeuse could go supernova soon, and it would be visible in the daytime. No, not that Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a red giant about 500 to 600 light years from our sun in the Orion constellation. It's pretty easy to spot for beginner astronomers. Just look for the bright red star above Orion's belt. Betelgeuse is estimated to be about 10 to 20 times the mass of our star. When astronomers say soon, they really mean it could go supernova sometime in the next 100,000 years, which is a small amount of time in cosmic scales. But unfortunately for us, we will likely not see it happen. But due to it being 600 light years away, there is a chance that it has happened already and the light just hasn't had time to reach us yet. Although it is unlikely. If there's life on Earth able to witness the event when it finally happens, it will appear almost as bright as the full moon and will be visible during the daytime for up to a year. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what topics you'd like to see me go further in depth on in the future.